Hi, I'm Stacy Dolan with Feeling Good. Today's question is, what do you do when you feel stuck? And so we can get stuck in a lot of ways, feeling like we don't have any options. And so the nervous system really wants to have a lot of forward movement and flow. And in doing QNRT and helping people be healthy and happy, we really wanna always feel like we're choosing one option after another and that there's a natural flow to life. And we start to get stuck Maybe it's a good thing because it's telling us that it's time to stretch and grow and do something different, but oftentimes we get stuck there for too long. If you get stuck there for too long, you can get anxiety and anger and all kind of negative emotions going that affect your life. And so when we do get stuck, we wanna get out of it as quickly as possible. So I have a little example of my own self. So in my younger life, I have a little bit of a workaholic type personality. And so I used to always feel like I was the one stuck with all the work right, and working at night and working on the weekends and feeling like um, other people didn't do their part and just getting disgruntled and also being really perfectionistic about having the outcome be exactly a certain way. And so that was really a, a story that I ran for a long time and it wasn't helpful and did create a lot of dis-ease in my body, mind, and spirit. And so there came a time where I had to find a new way to look at the situation and to just recognize that I was responsible for overscheduling myself, for not delegating enough, for not holding other people accountable for their parts of the job, and, um, and that I was kind of being a victim in it and just recognizing that I'm responsible if I want it to be different. And so I had to learn how to do those things, how to communicate and delegate and give myself more space before a deadline and actually just say, you know, done is better than perfect. And when it comes time for me to leave, I'm going to leave, right? And I'm going to have a weekend too. And that made me happier and healthier, but that required a lot of stretch. And so, um, but as soon as I did that, my life entered back into a happier, healthier flow, which is the whole idea. Okay. So, you know, what are the steps to do when you kind of have that feeling? Well, the first thing is just to recognize it. And so when you're feeling bad, and some of those things I was talking about, getting angry, blaming people, feeling like a victim, or like there's no options to get out, you recognize that you're stuck. What do you do then? Okay, so you have to have a different perspective. So we're gonna take off these stuck glasses, right? Where we have no options when I look through them. And I'll put on some other glasses that look for new options, right? So I put these different glasses on and then I can empower myself to say, you know, what could I change? How could I look at it differently? And what are the different ways that I could get out of this situation? And so I wanna be guided by my mind and my heart and figure out what are the options that I do have? Even though there's some things I can't change, I always have options. And so number three is to claim your power, right? To empower yourself to make a new choice and to move forward with this new perspective, like in my example. So um, once you do that, you'll get back in the flow. I wanna just mention a little bit about um, an essential oil like lemongrass. So if you use something like lemongrass, it helps diffuse negative energy and it also helps you move forward with ease. And there's all kinds of ways that you can figure out what oil to use for what situation. So we have books and charts and all kinds of things where you can look up different emotions and what oils are good for different things. Um, but smelling like lemongrass is a good thing to do in this situation to move back into the flow. So now that you know how to quickly get out of a stuck position, um, some things that might be helpful is to find a trusted friend or if you go to a counselor to talk about it, to help someone else introduce to you some options because sometimes we're so stuck we just don't even see that we have options. Um, you might want to try QNRT because that therapy really does open up a world of options and a higher perspective on the situation that you're in. So that's another option. I hope this supports you and not being stuck and I hope this was helpful to you. And so remember when you change your thoughts, you change your brain and when you change your brain, you change your life. And so until next time, I'm Stacy Dolan with Feeling Good.